We're going to begin with the story that you've been waiting for. I've definitely been waiting for it. It's our annual Super Bowl City Showdown. It's his favorite story of the year, I think. It features the hometowns of the Super Bowl teams and two of our Saturday morning co-hosts, Dana Jacobson backing the Kansas City Chiefs and Michelle Miller representing the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, we have talked all morning already about this history-making matchup featuring two black starting quarterbacks and then two brothers on opposite teams, right. Jason Kelsey and... This guy, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, well, Dana, that 87 jersey you're wearing is actually in honor of Jason's birth month. And their mom says that Jason bleeds Philadelphia. Well, in Kansas City, we all bleed red. And the history of the Chiefs and the Super Bowl, that runs deep. They were in the very first Super Bowl back in 1967. This is their fifth appearance in the big game. And I'm going out on a limb. It's going to be their third win. You're getting a little ahead of yourself there, DJ. Odds makers in Vegas have the Philadelphia Eagles as the favorite. So all I'm going to say is fly, Eagles, fly. Welcome to the city of brotherly love. We're in Fairmount Park, the largest urban park in the country, where the Eagles are back in the Super Bowl for the first time since 2018. And I hope you're ready, because we are flying high up here at the top of Philadelphia. Go birds! We'll check out this bird's eye view, Michelle, of the Kansas City skyline. The Chiefs are headed to their third Super Bowl in four years. So yeah, I like their chances. And so do these guys, Lewis and Clark, who famously explored the West and just happened to camp right here along the banks of the mighty Missouri, <laughs> which you know, Michelle, just happens to be the longest river in the U.S. Don't even get me started on rivers, DJ. I mean, here in Philly, we've got the Delaware. You might remember the guy who famously crossed it. Please. I wonder if George Washington would like the Kansas City style barbecue that Mary here is cooking up. Because we have so much to get to between the Kansas and Missouri borders. It's a really good thing that they've got this vending machine here at Jones's Barbecue. In fact, I am going to take a burnt end sandwich to go. If you want to talk famous sandwiches, you got to grab yourself a classic Philly cheesesteak. Hey, Maximo. Can I get some extra whiz? It's so good. <laughs> Even our cameraman couldn't resist. Cheese steak? How about a strip steak? We're at the Golden Ox, where back in 1949, they gave birth to the Kansas City strip steak. Mmm. Chew on that. I'd rather chew on this. Double bubble gum created right here in Philadelphia. Sorry to burst your bubble, Michelle, but Kansas City is also home to its own confections. Russell Stover, the chocolatier, is headquartered here. Talk about brotherly love. And in our tale of two cities, only one has a giant wall of literary classics. Well, Philadelphia was home to author Edgar Allan Poe, famous for writing chilling works like The Raven. Shh. Ravens and eagles? No thanks. We've got plenty of birds here at the Kansas City Zoo. Over 80 species. And Bluebird, I'm pretty sure you guys are, are, are all Chiefs fans, right? You're making me a little peckish now, Dana. And since we're in the birthplace of the American pretzel, it's time for me to take a bite out of it. Nice, nice. Invented by the Pennsylvania Dutch more than 200 years ago. Yeah, yeah, we have soft pretzels too. And here at the Kansas City Pretzel Boys, they even custom design theirs. How about their cheese? Oh, yeah. Woo! If you want to support the Eagles, climbing a lamp pole is a time tester tradition. <laughs> This lamppost and clock arrived in the 1880s, Michelle. Talk about time-tested. Sure, but when it comes to history, 
Philly is the place to be. The founding fathers signed the Declaration of Independence right here in 1776. And this square is named after a pretty famous one. How's it going back there, Ben? Very well, madam. Go birds. Kansas City has presidential ties, too. Harry Truman was raised right here in nearby Independence. Kansas City is also home to the National World War I Museum and Memorial. And it turns out, this is where the NFL is holding its 2023 draft. When it comes to sports, Philly has KC beat. This season, not only did they make it to the World Series and the MLS Cup Final, but Philly is an official 2026 FIFA World Cup host. Sorry, Michelle, but uh, Kansas City here at Arrowhead Stadium is also a FIFA host. How about this 2,700 square foot mural right outside the Eagles Nest? Every year, the Eagles players work with Mural Arts Philadelphia to paint part of a mural for the community. This one's called Our City, Our Team. This jazz mural is one of several here in Kansas City, paying tribute to its musical roots. The smooth sound even serves as the backdrop to a classic Robert Altman film named after this very town. Come on, Dana. You can't talk about classic films and not mention Rocky, <laughs> please. But after all that, I'm thinking I'm kind of a Creed girl. You know, uh, hmm. How about that Michael B. Jordan? Sure, he's dreamy, but Chief's Kingdom has some star power too. Jason Sudeikis and Paul Rudd, they're Chief's super fans. All right, Dana, but let's bring it back to game day. And this year, it is on. It's the first time in Super Bowl history that we have two brothers competing. It's Kelsey versus Kelsey. And over here at McGillan's, one of the oldest bars in the country, it is Team Jason. Yeah. All the way. They also eat and drink green. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Well, we're seeing red here at Town Topic. Word is, it's one of Chiefs head coach Andy Reid's favorite spots for his favorite food. He's always loved a good cheeseburger, but when he was coaching in Philly, thanks, he never had a chance to toast a Super Bowl victory with one. That didn't happen till he came here. Cheeseburgers are paradise, man. <laughs> Eat up, Michelle. Okay, okay, all right. I like it. I like it. Do you have a determination on who the winner is on this one? Uh, no, I, I just want to know the behind the scenes of how you did it, right? Well, like, because I the... It's a whole crew of people. Absolutely. Ryan Bingham, Natasha Singh. I had uh, Vita, Vita Weisbaum. That's right. We have Michael Sugar. Yes. <laughs> it's we, like y'all were Chris responding Stender. to each other. Yes. So and were you calling her saying what you were saying? And you would, no, no, no. It's know. all mapped out. You got to map out where you got, you're going to You got to figure it out. And it's all in record time because, you know, they don't figure out who does what until, what, two weeks out. And then they have no, to No, a week it. ahead. We figured out on Sunday we were shooting on Thursday. Craig Shea's the master editor who puts it then together and marries it. It's Two weeks out from the Super Bowl. But yeah, yeah. we do it in less than that four was really days. Yeah. Well done. We are all winners. Yes. And yeah, but all who are you we picking? have a terrifically talented team. I think, do you all think? of them do you as think well. However, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh oh, and this is objective. Kansas City is the winner. Woo! Kansas City. Okay. Not because your piece wasn't terrific. Your side was wonderful. <laughs> but the barbecue in Kansas City, Missouri uh, is out okay. of this world. Okay, let me just say this. And this I'm going I'm to fault our boo, our boo, Brian Bingham, for this because, like, the Philadelphia fans, Brian's going to be mad at me. Philadelphia fans were, like, on my case about the roast pork sandwich. At, roast pork uh, sandwich. At anywhere. They in want Philly. you to go to Wawa. Right? Wawa, right? And, of course, that's a, that's a everyone's thing. like, Philly cheesesteak. Oh, that's so cliche. I've never but, had a Philly cheesesteak. But, hey, when Philly's in after they win this year and they're back oh, next year uh, up against our Saints, is that possible? AFC, NFC? Come on, I'm Saints. They're Philly right. and the Saints no, can. They yeah. can play in the but, championship. Uh, NFC championship. <laughs> Let me say this. Let's have a close game. We'll, we can yes. agree to that. All right. Yeah. All right. Boom. Ladies, y'all were great. That was terrific. 